China's two sessions, which had been postponed due to the outbreak of COVID-19, are now in full swing. The two meetings are annual gatherings of China's national lawmakers and political advisers. On May 24th, Chinese President Xi Jinping joined a deliberation session with lawmakers from Hubei province, once the epicentre of the COVID-19 outbreak in China. He was deeply moved by a story shared by one of the lawmakers. This was the second of two times that she mentioned the 87-year-old patient publicly over three days. When the patient in question, Mr. Zhang, was admitted to Tai He Hospital, his symptoms were severe. His life was in grave danger. A nine-person medical team charged with his care worked around the clock for 47 days, sometimes with the man's life hanging in the balance. On March 22nd, Zhang was discharged with a clean bill of health. When the president heard Lord Jia telling the story for the first time, he commented, so many people work together to save a single patient. This, in essence, embodies doing whatever it takes to save lives. In Hubei alone, more than 3,600 COVID-19 patients over the age of 80 have been rehabilitated. Among them, seven are centurions. The oldest was 108. After Jiang left hospital, medical staff have dropped in on him regularly. <laughs> China has mobilized from around the nation the best doctors, the most advanced equipment and the most needed resources to Hubei and Wuhan, going all out to save lives and all treatment costs were covered by the government. <laughs> People is the most prominent word in every meeting and instruction given by Xi Jinping on COVID-19 prevention and control. The war on the outbreak of COVID-19 is a people's war in essence. It's a war fought by the people and for the people, reflecting the core value of the world's largest political party serving the people wholeheartedly. The government's is to make the people's life and Xi Jinping considers above all else that the people are the most important. Deputies from Hubei also feel strongly about this. More than two months ago, Xi Jinping, Commander-in-Chief of China's war against COVID-19, arrived in Wuhan. He inspected hospitals, communities and held video conferences to guide epidemic prevention and control work. His words were not only comforting but also benefited those on the ground. The concern for people's lives reflects Xi's care for the people. In 1969, aged 15, she was sent to Lianjiehe, a small village in northwest China's Shanxi province. During his seven years there, he worked alongside farmers in the fields, forging lifelong friendships. To meet the people's desire for a happy life is our mission, said she when meeting the press after being elected General Secretary of the CPC Central Committee in 2012. In response to questions from foreign leaders, she has said, I will devote my whole life to the cause of serving the people. 
The fundamental goal for the party is to unite and lead the people in revolution, development and reform is to ensure a better life for them, she said. China Communist Party is rooted in the people. Blood is in the people. 坚持以人民为中心的发展思想，无论面临多大挑战和压力，无论付出多大牺牲和代价，这一点都始终不渝，毫不动摇。